you know, everyone want love, but love ain't gonna stop a nigga from in the back of the head. Mm. Cause he ain't gonna be loyal to himself first. He's gonna be loyal to his seed, he's gonna be loyal to his bitch. I just seen a nigga say in the paperwork, I love the I don't wanna do him like this, but still told on. Mm. You feel me? So love don't go so far. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We in here. Uh, super special guest in the building. Uh, this guy's going crazy. You just dropped, right? Yeah, for sure. What's the name of the tape? 1008 Degree. 1008 Degree. Hiding in the streets, baby. I listen to it. It's fire. You f- yeah, yeah. What's, I, I, what's, I rock with it. What's your favorite one? Um, Is it... I'm not going to remember the name off top. Oh, no, no. I you mean, bro, it's... I just mm-hmm. started listening to it. All right, which, which one though, for real? I'm just thinking, like, he my best friend or something. Like, <laughs> nigga, I just started listening to it, doing my homework. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, he think I'm a front for the cameras. Nah, hold up, I'm gonna tell you. Um, I didn't get a chance to go through all of it, but I fuck with on some. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But I also fuck with this old song you did with uh Honcho. Um, for the game. Came from nothing. Okay, that's an older from one. Nothing. That's on my last. Yeah, that's an older so one. On my last yeah, project. I fuck with that one. Yeah, came from yeah. nothing. Yeah, uh, but you know when you type me a name. Like everything that's popular come up, so nah. So I ain't came from none like probably like my most popular song, so that's gonna come up first. Yeah, I like that. Sure. Nah, uh, sure. I appreciate. It. I like your your um your intro too. Yeah, yeah. You from up top too, so y'all be liking like bars and shit. yeah, yeah. And that type of shit. That's it. Nah, I, I like. I don't really. I like the bars, but I know that ain't how people coming coming now. Nah, yeah, niggas ain't coming like that. Man. But I like, I like the 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 raw the hip hop gangster. Way more than I like this new, not to be Pretty a hater sure. of the new school, but now nah, I dig it though. I ain't like it. Hip- I, y'all fuck with that type. That, I, that, I, f- I f- then the nigga that doing their thing. Like I really don't listen to niggas no more. I got niggas who I used to listen to, but I really can't even listen to niggas no more. Mm. Feel me? So well, I you, really be listening to old, same. like new nigga shit. I like I might fuck the nigga shit and hear it. I might hear it but like I f- y'all, but on some like on his shit, I'm on my shit. I can't even be on nigga shit. No nah, facts. I feel like. I be in my own way sometimes, especially in this space, like, because you got to know everybody, but I don't like everybody, and I ain't trying to like everybody. I don't care. Nah, I did that. For sure. I'm wrong. Get canceled before I even get on. Like, nah, <laughs> hell nah. You got to keep doing your thing. Just stay in your lane. Make a nigga come to you. Nah, facts. Yeah. Yo, so I want to ask you a series of questions, right? I'm going to say, like, a phrase or a statement. I want to get your, your original thoughts on it. All right. How do you feel about niggas rat? They need to die right mm. now. ASAP. Is it any excuse, any loophole, or anything with a nigga ratting, or is it just ratting, nah. black and white? Nah, it, it's is you and black and white telling it is what it is. Mm. Now, I'm not gonna act like some situation ain't worse than worse than others, but telling is telling though, regardless of how you look at. It. Is it any difference when you in the street versus not being in the street? A lot of people say, you know, citizens and shit like that. For <laughs> sure, so you a law abiding citizen and you ain't in the street. Like nigga can't even, you don't even live by a certain code, so it don't even matter. But you in the streets and you living by a cold, like this just this is what this is how we came up. This is what we chose. This is what you chose to do. This is the shit that you chose to do in the streets, then nigga, you gotta be accountable for that shit. Mm. You can't be out here killing niggas and doing all this shit. Then you get in the police room, police and interrogation room and be like, Well, I know a nigga finna die tonight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And nah, you can't do that, man. It ain't. Come on, man. So let me ask you this then. As far as you know, like some people. Like myself, I was born in the, in, in the hood, right? But I've never been like a street nigga, never been in no street type. Yeah. But I feel like it's still certain codes that we kind of be born into. For sure, I agree. Like, I, like even the nigga don't want to be, it's like, you I know. mean, it's the thing, right? If you doing stuff, you got to accept what come with that. That's a fact. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, you not being in the streets, if you were in a bystander on some shit and some shit happened, then that what it is. Like, nigga can't be... A nigga can't expect you to live by a certain code. Mm. But if you go out here and punch a nigga out on the side of the street, 
and the police try to charge you with aggravated assault, and you be like, well, I know what I know who Rico, I know what Rico did. That's crazy, first of all. Niggas ain't doing that. What? Who? That's crazy. Man, who? Man, nigga doing that every day. That's different. Niggas though. is doing it every day. That's what's going on out here. Nigga ain't even playing a guy ain't felt. That's what I'm telling you. That's a real, you got some king side rats out here. That's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Damn. All right, so um, next statement I wanted to ask you about. Fatherhood. How do you feel about fatherhood? You know, that's a crazy topic for me because, you know, like, I just, you know, I just uh, met my father this year and Damn. I got a son on the way in two months. So that's, like, a crazy topic for me. Like, that's a topic we'll be talking for days and days. Hey, we got time, nigga. We ain't got that much time. How you feel about fatherhood? I mean, I, I'm finna be a father, so I'm excited about it. Mm. You just met your pops. How'd that make you feel? I feel good because my pops a real nigga. I was scared he was going to be some bull He a real nigga, so. He was arrested or something? Nah, he just ain't know he had a child. Like, just how shit happened, he ain't even know. So shit that could happen to me or you. you know how? What I'm how? How does, how does that happen? He ain't know. They they, they, they did what they did and he ain't know. You know what I'm saying? They lost know? contact. They lost contact. Nah, you know, it's not it's not these days where everybody got phones and social media. So it happened and shit. They, they, they wasn't able to get in contact with each other. I don't hold no grudges. I just, I'm glad it happened how it happened. But it's like, I'm glad when I met him, he wasn't no bull. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But. Did you feel like, um, did you almost feel hurt that because he was a real nigga that you ain't get a chance to really be raised by him? Nah, I wouldn't take it no other way. Mm. I wouldn't have went through what I went through. He probably would have sheltered me or I probably would have had it a little bit easier than I had it. Mm. I, I don't regret nothing in life. You feel what I'm saying? Like everything I went through for a reason. So if it come to now, that's when I meet him and it's cool. It's another. It's now. This is another chapter of my life to understand. Mm. I didn't get that growing up. I grew up with a blank pitch. You see that black right there? That's mm -hmm. how my father. That's what it was in my head. It wasn't even really no story behind it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now it's a whole another chapter. Now I got a father and a son on the way. Mm. I can't complain. I, I, it, it's it is what it is. As long as he ain't no bull, he understand me. He understand me to the fullest. So it's like I ain't tripping. Next thing I was going to walk into is you having a son, right? Yeah. You wanted that. Damn right. Yeah, you yeah. See, you see that that blue come up out, yeah, then out I of jumped, the shit, then you know I, what I'm saying? Then I jumped and grabbed the blue out that moment. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that make you feel? I was happy. I mean, if it was a little girl, it would have been what it was, but I mean, shit, I was happy. I was happy to have a little boy. Every, every nigga want a little, a little nigga. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I don't care who you is. You want a little nigga, you go put him in football, basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than that, but... That's just the idea of, you know, you play sports, you grew up, so it's like it's easier to understand what you want for your little nigga, even though he gonna have his own choices. Mm -hmm. Versus a little girl, you gotta accept it, and it's a whole nother journey. And I would have been willing to deal with that, and I still still am if that's what happened. But shit, I was happy to my first child, a little boy. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. Does um, but you had like another child, like you like nah. step, nah, no, you know. You ain't... Lyra ain't have a child. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, like, you kind of like a step dad, Nah, for sure, right? I'm a step dad, for sure. Did that change your your mindset, your thought process on parenthood? Nah, I mean, I mean, I don't been I don't been in situations where I don't have been around kids before, so. Mm. Like, but Lyra, Lyra little girl definitely, like, is, like, done like my little girl. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there for her. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, it, like, I did see how dealing with a little girl is different. It's like, but it didn't really change it because I had already seen before. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't dealt with different females in the past. You know what I'm saying? But um, shit, it's done. Like I got a little girl and a little boy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how you look at it. Nah, I, I'm on the same way. My I met my uh, my girl five years ago. Yeah. My daughter was eight. She's thirteen now. So oh, yeah. like, I definitely get how it feel. Exactly. Um. My next, I wanted to, uh, like, next statement or conversation I want to ask you about was sports, right? You was really good in basketball. Nah, for sure. You having some success. We having a lot of success with this music. Yeah. But do you ever look back and be like, man, if I would have kept going, I would have been this or that? Yeah, all right. If I ain't had to do that, I would have been way, way better off in sports. But I fell in love with money too early, and I got introduced to streets and money way too early to where it distracted me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a support system. That's what, like, not having a father come in at. Mm -hmm. Because my mama, all she did was work and try to 
just survive and make sure she could do whatever she could do for a nigga. But as far as like sports, like I got a nigga who, like I used to call my fault, like I used to call it in my nigga my pops, and he was like my AAU coach. You know what I'm saying? And he did what he could do, but yeah, that nigga was like that to hundred kids in, in every hood all over the city. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I look at it like sports wasn't a nigga calling for real. I was five, could have been better. You know, if I would have. If I would have been working out instead of over here shooting dice, if I would have been working out instead of having me a bomb, if I would have been working out instead of doing this and and had somebody put me in the gym, ain't no telling where I would have been at. Mm. If I would have went to the – because I had, I had like, like – I was good at basketball, but I didn't reach that potential that I could have because I didn't have nobody pushing me. Mm. You feel me? And I watched niggas – I played next to niggas who had niggas pushing them and seen like us like this, and then them niggas go up here, and I ain't went nowhere because that's how they go. Like, you talking about like high school days type. You know what I'm saying? And that's, so, like, not, I know there's a difference between, like, you know, blaming somebody or, like, regretting something, but it's, what you, from what you just said, you don't never, like, when you alone by yourself in your room sure. and you never think about it, man, that hurt. For sure. Like, I posted, went to, I, I had college, I had scholarships to play basketball, mm. but I had already fell in love with the streets, fell in love with guns, fell in love with drugs, fell in love with money, fell in love with and I was rapping, too, so it was like, I was already distracted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I sit back and think like, damn, boy, I could have been this good. But I don't really, I, I, you can't think about that shit too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that shit, oh, that shit over with. Nigga, you living in the past at that point? Like, a lot of niggas play sports. Like, sports is really, sports really introduce a, sports. Like, sports is kind of like how I look at sports and music. Like when you doing like playing basketball, you in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. You enjoy putting on a show. You enjoy performing. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of like rapping. That's why it was easy for me to transition to rap. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like it, a lot of niggas play sports, and a lot of niggas got them transition from sports into the streets or transition to sports into like music like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so getting to know you a little bit. Last thing. Rank, you got to rank these things from most important to least important. Uh -huh. Respect, loyalty, and love. What has to come first? I just answered that question, but they want love involved. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I'm going to say respect, loyalty, and then love. That's exactly how you said it. Why is that? Because, like, if a nigga, a nigga respect you, they're not going to do certain you know what I'm saying? It's just not gonna happen. I just look at situations that I I deal with, and my respect for the motherfuckers is what keep me from doing certain. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And my loyalty, like loyalty and respect, kind of run hand in hand. Love, I seen Gates say one day, like love ain't gonna stop a nigga from stealing from you. Mm -hmm. Not many niggas that love me and don't did me dirty, like did me the worst way, and I know they love me though. But what well, do they? They love me, but. They was loyal to themselves. They were just being loyal to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Or they might don't respect me as much as they should because I don't show too much love. You show no, you show a nigga too much love, they they, they lose respect. Mm. That's just niggas. That's how they live. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, but respect and loyalty kind of run hand in hand. But you know, every nigga want love, but love ain't gonna stop a nigga from shooting you in the back of the head. Mm. Cause he nigga gonna be loyal to himself first. Nigga gonna be loyal to his seed. Nigga gonna be loyal to his. I just seen a nigga say in a nigga paperwork, I love the nigga. I don't want to do him like this, but still told on a nigga. Mm. You feel me? So love, that shit don't go so far. Because a nigga going to love himself first regardless. Yeah, he, nigga, I'm going to love myself first at this point because I know niggas going to love themselves. I mean, that's just what that's just the world we live in. No, you're right. It's crazy, man, to think that that could happen at any given time. But that's why uh, betrayal hurts so, so much. Nah, for because sure. it's from somebody that's so close to you. Yeah, yeah, that's how it always gonna happen. Mm. Let's get this interview started, man. All right, so uh, you believe in God? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, uh, I was, I was doing a little, a little lurking, right? And this is the first thing that caught my attention. And of course, it will catch my attention because it's, it's, it's some shit your girl said, but it was interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna try to read this. Don't judge me, y'all. <clears throat> I want to get your thoughts on this, man, right? So I say, you, Rico, my love, you never cease to amaze me. Thank you for showing showing up for us and letting me 
uh, have my moment. I watch you step aside and let me be a woman and offer me and only and only offer input only when I ask. This was outrageous <laughs> as a gender reveal, um, but you never said no to anything. Thank you for being here, never missing an uh, appointment, loving me when I was complete maniac at times, especially for my first trimester, protecting me and holding me my hand through it all. Um, she said, thank you for loving me and my baby girl. It says, you love some K and watching you two together is a hoot. I don't know what that means. She said, I'm honored to have this baby boy. <laughs> I'm honored to expand my family with you and who knows we can even do it again. She said, um, I'm full of so much joy and I have so much love to give. Thank you for everything. You are amazing and I'm excited to watch you become a father. You prayed for a baby boy and won't he do it? Love is patient. Love is kind. You know the rest. I love you to the moon and back. Okay. What does that mean to you? First of all, what's the rest? You know the rest. Love is patient. Love is kind. You know the rest. That's what she said. I mean, the rest is shit. We know what we got. We know the bond we got. Mm. I can't just really explain it to you. I can't explain it to nobody in here. That's just how certain bonds is. Like, we get, we can get mad at each other and talk about each other all day. Mm. But we know what we got. That's probably how you is with your girl. We can For get sure. we can get mad and beef and do whatever. But let's not act like we both don't know what we got going on. I asked you, um, that popped out to me because, like, love can be hard. For sure. Especially when you with somebody um, and both of you guys don't really understand how to do it correctly. Yeah, yeah especially when you're used to doing it another way. Especially, right? Especially the type of ways niggas come up. So, yeah. I asked you that because um, not too long ago I called one of my homies and I was upset about some things, and he told me the scripture. So when I read it, the scripture was already uh, fresh on my mind. Right. So when she said, love is patient, love is kind, it comes from 1 Corinthians 13. So basically what it says is love is patient and kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own, on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice on wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. So when she said you know the rest, that's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, okay. Cause that's the uh that's the scripture. Yeah. Does that resonate with you? Oh, for sure. It makes sense. I mean, she probably know how to put it in words, and I damn sure we're gonna be able to put it in words, but mm. that's what you know the rest mean. Mm. It's unexplainable. I mean, of course in the scriptures, they're gonna they gonna explain it pretty well, but I mean, that's what the rest is. Mm. All that you just said, and even and they said her. You feel me? Like any any relationship, every relationship is different. But like love ain't really got no boundaries. Love ain't got no stipulations. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not selfish at all, right? Nah, for sure. And we all learn how to do this. <laughs> Cause like I said, like when you come up from the type of environments, I'm just say me. I come up from, I didn't grow up watching love in my household. I watched up I grew up watching my mama, a single mama. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't grow up learning how to do this. I grew up a player to the max. Anybody who know me know, man, shout it. Boy, shout it Rolling Stone them. You feel what I'm saying? So when you get in certain situations and the way we raise and in music, what we told, we listen to what we told. So we we feel like, man, I ain't loving no That ain't what nigga told me to do. Nigga listen to the music. But... Reality of it is we grown too. So if it's genuine, it's genuine. You won't know when that shit coming. You don't know how it's going to come. You feel what I'm saying? So shit. I mean, I feel like every everybody take on their situations and, and and handle them differently. And you can't really listen to nobody outside. You got to just handle your shit. Right, Isn't it crazy how... It's kind of like we get tricked in the life that we live. Because we, 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 like you said, we don't, we don't see love. Nigga, I always feel like you get tricked, don't you? <laughs> Nigga, feel it's like true. you got tricked. I mean, just being, bro, I feel like we probably the same age. You was born in the 90s? Mm -hmm. 90, right? I was born in 91. You was born in what? 93. 93, I was born yeah. in 91. Well, it ain't too far off. Yeah. But I feel like when I say tricked, it's like, <clears throat> you know, and that's everybody. You know, knowledge is something that you got to go through life to really get. 
For sure. You really gotta go through life to have yeah. knowledge and understanding. Yeah. And learn some Me and bro were just talking about that. Some niggas just gotta learn. You can tell them all day. But until they get to that point in their life, they not gonna understand. Mm. So I agree 100%. But by the time we learn, it's like, we done already lived the life. We yeah. already did, you, had, you already did what, two bids? Man, hell yeah, I did two bids. I did five years total. Think Man. about it. But guess what, though? I wouldn't, I don't regret it. Of course you don't regret it. I don't regret it, you no, know, nah, but I don't, re I do regret I wish I can get that time back, nigga. Yeah. I, I spent 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, turned 28 in prison. Mm. So hell, I, would, I want them days back. But I can't replace what I learned from the shit, though. I can't replace the knowledge. I can't replace the wisdom I got from certain situations or watching niggas go through certain situations. I can't replace that. You feel what I'm saying? I can't replace it. Like, it don't matter what I tell you until you are hands-on and see certain shit, then you won't understand where I'm coming from. Facts. So these situations that I've been in in prison, situations I watch, me seeing what people gonna do to me or how they gonna treat me when I'm at my lowest, I can't, can't nobody tell me that. Mm. Can't nobody tell me how I feel to get uh, judged by a fucking white man in a fucking courtroom and he's sentenced me to, can't nobody tell me how that feel. Mm. You, can only, you can only just go through that and learn it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, knowledge is like the biggest thing. That's like, I'm big on that. Like, I'm big on it. Like, I be trying to, Game niggas up, and if I see a nigga that ain't embracing that and absorbing that, then it's like, I ain't gonna keep running my mouth to no nigga and telling no nigga, cause I want to see niggas do good around me. But if 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 you don't if you don't want to do good, then that's cool. I can still have love for you, but I ain't gonna keep wasting my breath, mm. cause I'm having too much of this. I'm pawning on nigga ass. Facts. But that's why I say, I, and I don't mean to say trick, but it's like it's just unfortunate because we don't have nobody teaching us it. Hell no, nah. especially you grow up without no dad in the household. And the, the, the that's teaching us is poisoning us. That's a whole nother conversation. That's this conversation, though. Yeah, but we'll be going forever, though. Like, Nigga, you we, keep saying I that, mean, but that's I'm this po I'm poison. It's up to you to figure it out, like, in life. Like, nigga ain't got, like, it ain't no rules to this shit. That, that same poison will may give you the knowledge to go do what's right. Is it? Uh, it may, it may do. It may, it may or may not. Or you can be, how many motherfuckers you see go to church Monday through Monday or Sunday and then decide they want to go shoot up the motherfucking whole school? No, oh, it's a lot. You feel what I'm saying? So that poison may make you realize I'm not like these niggas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you never know. Like life, like I said, it ain't got no rules to it. It ain't got no rule book. So it's always <clears> right here. That's a fact. But I say that to say, like you said, bro, like just going back, you know, we never seen love, so we don't know what it look like. Nah. We know what we hear. So we go outside as just kids and trying, we trying to be like the niggas we listen to. Niggas talking about mad hoes, so what, what we do? We get mad hoes. And then we become adults and we understand that, nah, having one shorty is really the way to go. Yeah, I mean, being locked up taught me that. Mm -hmm. I seen where they're having a thousand hoes and you get locked up and you calling shouting at 10 at night, she getting a back blowed out. She ain't answering. Then you call shot. She get her back blowed out. <laughs> You'll call 10 and ain't answer phone because don't know don't belong to you. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I realized in this life that I that it's like that I chose, like it might go any type of way. So I got to, I got to, I got to have that security. And then it's like, as like on you realize, like, man, like, ain't no, ain't no nigga around your back, like no female. You mm. know what I'm saying? It, that's just what it is. That's just the reality of it. The bros is cool. I'm for the gang, all that. But ain't, ain't none of the niggas in the gang gonna have your back like your bitch. So, you feel what I'm saying? That's just the react. That's just being real. Nah, that's a fact. How you liking it? I, mean, I feel like you've been doing the music for a while now. I've mean, been a long ass time. Longer than you know. It ain't longer than I know, nigga. I know. I was in a group. Yeah, it was a group before that. Yeah. Well, I wasn't really in the group. We were just begging and just start rapping. We just young niggas start rapping, but yeah, I've been rapping for a minute. I know a little something, nigga. Like, yeah, I know sure. we just met, but God damn. Yeah, I, know I mean, I know you did your, probably did your research you know, as far as I'm coming on this month, but I've been rapping a long time, though. How do you feel about the, like, it's like you working so hard. I wasn't working hard for a long time, though. Mm -hmm. I was just, so for the first time I ever start rapping for real, I, I automatically had a fan base. But I didn't know how to rap, hustle. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I just 
mastered the craft and it worked for me. But the situation I jumped in, I learned a lot from it, but it wasn't meant for me. So then I had to go back to what I know. And then I had to learn how to be a man and learn how to make it in the street first. Or make it, that's what that's what I was in the streets. So I had to learn how to make it in the street first. And I was kind of like rap. I, for the last month, seven years, I don't get rap. Probably less than 5% of my life. Mm. So I've been rapping a long time, but really rapping, like really giving it a shot, doing shit like this. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't even dropping music half the time. So, like, I look at it like I've been rapping a long time. I've been good at rapping a long time, but I wasn't really putting out music and feeding my fan base mm. for a long time. You see what I'm saying? I was just like, more or less just niggas knew me because I was five back then, and I might drop some here and there, and it's still going to be five. Shout it five. But shout ain't stunning rap. He's not serious with it for Man, me. Man, I ain't serious. That's how I think. Look at it. He ain't serious. I'm ball, I'm ball deep in the streets. I ain't want really. I was rapping, and it was always the ultimate goal, but I knew I had to. I learned early on in my situation that I didn't want to be nobody puppet. I ain't want to be no rapper. Like, some niggas just intrigued by, oh, I can rap. I can rap, I can shoot the videos and put on the clothes and do that. And I went through that early on, and I realized, like, I'm a man. Mm. So I want to be a man first. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not a rapper first. I'm a man first. I'm a hustler first before rap. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I got to have myself situated. I had to get myself situated. I had to learn. And, and, and through learning, I had to go through prison, spent this time, this time. Then when you come back from prison, you got to rehabilitate and get your life back together. You feel me? And I'm rapping, but I'm not really putting my all into it. This is the first time I can say I'm really pushing. Mm. Even when I was in the group, I was a kid. I ain't know no better. You feel what I'm saying? But now this is the first time I can say I'm really trying to push and really make it, like, change the direction. Like, people love my music. That's the only reason why I'm still rapping. I would have been stopped. I would have been stopped, to be all the way honest. So what happens when... <clears throat> I guess what happens on the down season then? You said people love my music. That's the only reason I'm still rapping. So what happens when it don't seem like it no more? If it, it, God forbid, did that ever happen? But what happens if that happens? Well, I'm like, with music, I'm like a trained athlete. Like, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. That's just, I don't been seasoned, so I'm going to do it. Like, that's, it don't even feel right if I'm not. Okay. I do got a passion for music, but I love having my shit together more. Mm. Being a rapper costs money. It ain't cheap. It's not, it ain't cheap. You got to have all this shit, man. It costs 200000 in jury, man. Do you have to have all this shit, though? Man, we live in Atlanta, man. You ain't balling, man. You ain't talking about nothing. Or you ain't you ain't living what you talking about. You ain't talking about nothing. Now you go backpack rapper. You know, it ain't a rap contest though. Mm. I mean, that's not and, and niggas who make it like that without without the all the accessories or all the, the certain lifestyle they've been doing that shit for years and chasing that lane for years. Mm. But I'm not that. I can't speak on them. I'm not that. Does that not make it harder though to rap? Because if you gotta, I was just talking about this yesterday. If you gotta have the drip, the jewelry and shit like that that come with it, it's like you almost gotta get that first before you can even step foot in the rap game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. It ain't cheap. I ain't even talking about a jewelry. This is just a jewelry. We ain't talking about clothes. You probably spend more on clothes than jewelry. And in the in the age and we get nigga gotta have, man. Uh, this okay, I'm gonna speak for up and cup and rapper. Mm-hmm. Have yourself together first. Have your life together first. Mm. Because first having your life together, then you have to compete. You got to compete with niggas like us. We get money. That's true what it is. We get money. And that's what people like to see in this era we in. Or they want to see some shoot em up, kill, kill, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Or they want to see some, they want to see shit that, that, that's, that, that, that attracts attention. So it got to be one of those. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not a rap contest, bro. No, it's not. It's it's just unfortunate that it's so many people out here who's talented that feel like... They don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. I promise you they don't. You could come out rapping to me like Eminem right now. I promise you mostly. They'd probably a, be like, boy, he hard. That's a terrible thing. Nah, but if motherfucking Future come in the room right now, Niggas Nigga love be like, Eminem, bro. That's a terrible analogy for me. I hate that. What, Eminem? He, he all right. I mean, Eminem. Was, I guess what you say. I'm joking. Bro. I ain't saying Eminem because I li- <laughs> who the hell, Who you know listen to Eminem? I a lot of people Eminem? put Eminem in their top 10, bro. Top five. Lyricists? 
Ball. I can't do what Eminem do. That nigga rap 30 yeah, words cool. and they all rhyme in two in 30 seconds. He, all right, he ain't been in my top five. He ain't in my top five. But lyricists like talent wise, well, different. Okay, you got talent and you got what I like. Nah, facts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he all right. Your favorite player might be motherfucking, uh, your favorite player might be John Collins. Mm. But he ain't the best in the NBA. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's all what you like. But I say Eminem because he's a lyricist. Nah, facts. I get it. That's crazy, cause um, I was just saying like, just having that. Let me ask you this then: There's so many talented artists in the world. Matter of fact, there's so many successful artists in the world mm-hmm. that's making money from their music, but not the most famous. They have no clout, but they making money. If it all had, if it all came down to tomorrow, and that was you and your career, would you be okay with that? Say it again. There's so many successful artists in the world that's making money from that music, but we don't know who they are. Okay. Would you be okay with that being you? Hey, yeah, the money. Hey, yeah, that's all I care about it. The money as far as, like, the clout don't mean shit to me. Mm. It just come with it. I ain't even choose it. It's just who I am. It just gonna come with me. Like, it just, it just come with the life a nigga don't live. I'm cool with the money. The fame is kind of actually weird. Like, as I'm growing and my name is getting bigger and bigger, it's actually weird. I wish I could do it without it, but it just would come with it. But don't it feel like, I mean, almost like it's like, as a musician, all of us, any like podcast or whatever you do, is like we fighting. I was funny because I'm looking at the shave room, and as much as the famous people hate the shave room, the people that's coming up <laughs> fight the hardest to get on the shave room because that's what's going to put them on. But it's like the more famous you get, the more you hate the fame. But it's like we fighting to be famous just to hate it when we get there. All stupid. You right. It's all dumb. But it's what we is. This is what we living in. It's the culture, baby. Mm. Welcome to it. Facts. Welcome to it. The shade room gonna send me. I, I was just on the shade room with my Genevieve. Mm-hmm. Sent me 20, 30,000 new followers the same day. They in the comment dogging me. Wait, what the hell are they dogging about? Just that's what I'm confused. Do. Like, nah, cause when I looked at it, you had that shit on. The shit was hard. It don't I don't give a fuck. But, but I'm curious now, what were they dogging you about? Man, you gotta tell me. That's what people do. That's just what they do. What they saying though? Man, it's so much. It's so much shit they say. Can you tell me something, bro? Tell me. I can't I'm curious, think, bro. I can't, you know, nigga. I can't you know just, what he said. I been drinking, bro. I can't think I'm talking. I can't think I'm talking. That's not Atlanta shit. Yo, you <laughs> I can't think. I, I never forgot, man. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember, baby. Damn. <laughs> now they say all type of shit though. Just <clears throat> man, all type of shit. But what I was what I was getting to is, it's like. Is take the good with the bad. And that's just what come with it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, if you ain't the face that they used to seeing, who the fuck is that? Mm. They might say anything. Who the fuck is this nigga with tattoos? He's fake ass tattoos. They might say the tattoo fake. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? It be all type of weird, internet full of weird ass motherfucker, bro. I'm talking about the weirdest. That's what I'm learning. Stay there. Stay there for a second. Cause now that you said that, I didn't see that. But I'm learning that in Atlanta, right? And that's how I'm learning, like, when I, that's why I asked about the success, successful rappers. Because there's so many people out here who I've never seen. Mm-hmm. It's successful as fuck. I learned that coming to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Right, like, and even, like, just interviewing niggas like you and just the other people I'm interviewing from Atlanta. Like, niggas is real live, got motion. And all the niggas that we see that somebody, they know. Like, and, oh, yeah, and saluting. Because, I ain't gonna lie, man, Atlanta, like, the streets run Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's just what it is. You can be a big ass superstar all over the world, but in Atlanta though, like, the streets is what run Atlanta. And the streets and rap is not hand in hand no more. It's all one. Mm-hmm. It, it's one thing. It's a it's a good thing and a bad thing. How can that ever be successful though? Especially given it's all the shit that's going on right now. It's dangerous, ain't it? You can't even make you could barely make music now. Especially if you really did some shit. But they wanna hear you talk about what you did though. First of all, Maybe because I ain't a street nigga. That's just the dumbest shit. If I actually did some shit, I'm not trying to talk about that shit. <laughs> you like, right? <laughs> like, I'm not talking about that's that crazy, shit. That's crazy, right? And I'm not a street nigga. Just about that crazy. That's how I go. I feel like shit. I changed my life. I'm glad I changed my life. Nah, yeah, I rap about what I, I used I would to. say take a shot to that, but you bullshit. Nah, I'm already drunk, bro. You ain't gonna get me drunk. drunk bro, what the fuck? You ain't drinking shit. I'm about six shots in, man. I'm bro, cool. first of all, you said two shots, but when we first started. I said two shots, get me drunk. All right, okay. If a nigga know me, they know two that. shots give me drunk. You said that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got that. I, I get that. I get that. I was going to say take a shot to him and a change, man. I got to drive. I got to drive. 
All right, whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Jay, take a shot for me, Jay. Mm. I'm pour for you. Mm. Yo, we gotta get Jay a, a glass, bro. Yeah, my Jay ain't got no glass, man. She ain't drinking on my glass, man. We got you. I'll get you a glass, bro. Something's wrong with my mouth. Are you stupid? Man, we all know your mouth be. Oh, active. They, that's clean. We, we all good. know your mouth been active in here. I'm gonna take a shot though. Oh, yeah, that, that's a that's a clean. We know it the first of the month. That mouth been active in here, Are Jay. You getting them, 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 them bills paid, bro. You know, Jay, <laughs> you know Jay gonna do the podcast and everything. Bro, I asked Jay to get on the podcast a hundred times, but it's cool. It no, the, first... the fuck you did. You want to bet? It's the, it's the I cross my heart and hope to faint right now. You don't Call do that. that. Hope to faint shit. You Jay. don't do that on me. I'm <laughs> no, the worst. You know you do that with. You killing me with that hope to faint shit. You want bet? You got your own Bro, you little gave thing. Me a number? You say that with your home girl, man. You gave me a number. You gave Somebody me a number. Did you give me a faint. fake? You give me a fake yeah, number. Never heard that. You want bet? I don't give out fake numbers. Everybody in the world. Now you got my. You gave me the real number. It's the first of month. The plug had the least you can get out of Jay right now. Now, I be seeing your Instagram post. Yeah, you be you going know. crazy. I'll tell you. No, Jay, hold, you know, hold up. Let me get my shit, bro. Y'all, y'all niggas disrespectful, bro. I'm over there babysitting the shot and shit. Right. Oh, oh this a shot this time. All right, back. Fuck it. Now, we, oh, now you see We yeah, sipping yeah. or what? Now, what you, now, what is this? Can you say it on camera? Are they paying you? No. Okay. Fuck them niggas. They pay shit. This some new shit. Man, they got niggas drinking some like, foreign you shit. You know man. the shit you be dying Easter eggs in? What? That shit smells like that. No, nah, this shit good. Nice. This shit good. Do we gotta do that? Everybody does. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah. Be real, when I got out of prison, I ain't know what was going on. Everybody hit the that table. I'm like, I did what I bought to do. That shit better than Casamigo. Stop on. It's it's interesting. It cool. Yeah. It's smooth. It ain't bad. But yo, you fucking with so streets in the industry, same thing. You do you like the industry? I hate it here. I hate that shit. This shit. It is, though. It is, though. What's the most annoying part of the industry, bro? Internet. What? The internet. Mm. See how quick I answered it? Nah, facts. Internet. Internet gay, bro. Facts. That shit make a real nigga turn. Lame as hell. It turn, it bring, oh, it bring that shit out of all, it bring that shit out of. Niggas can't have vulnerable moments and go to the internet and regret that shit. Mm. I give you a pass one or two times. Every nigga don't did it. Every nigga don't got vulnerable or and said some shit that I ain't want to say on the internet once or twice. But some niggas, that's their go-to. That's not, that's true. So let me ask you about this. this is, I was just talking about this. How do you feel about the podcast situations that's going on? Because I feel like a lot of people, they go on podcasts, they talk, and they be vulnerable. But of course, they get posted on the internet, and now it's just like a sticky situation. That's why I'm trying to tell you. You keep having me take shots and shit. I ain't trying to say the wrong thing on them motherfuckers. Oh, see, that's you <laughs> on some bullshit. <laughs> we just having a real nigga conversation. Nah, we here, though. We here, though. Nah, bu- our, our, oh, our bullshit won't. aside, okay. I like doing podcasts. I don't really like doing interviews. Like, I don't feel like it's an interview. I feel like we doing a podcast. It's it's like a little bit of both. Yeah, for sure. But we just kicking it, though. I don't it's like the... Conversation. Yeah, I don't like the old... The whole background check shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to do that. To nah, I sh- did a background check. No, nah, for sure. But some interview based on the whole thing. It's just you interview. Like interrogation? Yourself. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I don't oh. like that. But we kicking it. You feel okay. me? We vibing. Every, like every interview ain't like this. Or every po- like podcast, you just kick it. You drinking. You chilling. But some shit, it be like an interrogation. Down there. You know what What's I'm the saying? craziest question you ever got asked? I don't even remember, bro. I ain't going to count. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> I was, I don't even remember. Soon as you said, I'm like, "What's the answer?" <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I'm fucking with you, bro. But no, so I mean, this is dope, though. Um, you're making music, your mm-hmm. shit is on the rise. How you feeling now? You feeling like you catching steam? Hell yeah, yeah, my shit going crazy. It just it's every day. It's like it's hustling. You got to do it every day. You got to do something new every day. Mm. Like you got to out hustle these niggas. I see. You, I see you fucking with Honcho. That's my little brother. Y'all been there. Yeah, y'all been. Yeah, that's my little brother. Damn. Okay. Catching steam. Give me, if it was, how long you think it take for you to go crazy and niggas, everybody know you all the way around, around the world? It's here. I just got, I got a couple more moves I got to make. I got to focus. Just focus, just shit like this. Mm. I never gave this shit no, man, I'm telling you, I ain't never gave this shit my real time. I just been rapping for a long time. I never, I never did this shit. But I feel like in Atlanta, like, it's it's so, I want to say easy because I don't want to, like, discredit nice. nobody. But nice. I feel like it seems, I'm an outsider. So I'm just giving you my outside opinion. Who's your competition in Atlanta? Everybody, first of all. Exactly. But but y'all niggas are, are y'all. Every time I interview niggas, niggas swear niggas not family. Y'all niggas are tight. A lot of niggas that's lit are tight. It seem that way. Not what it seem like. Don't be that. 
Oh, that's better than not seem like it and it not being there. That ain't. Because a nigga hold the motherfucker on you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that shit be crazy. Like, I mean, yeah, Atlanta, like, people from the outside look at Atlanta like, them niggas stick together, but you got so many niggas rapping in Atlanta, bro. Yeah. Every nigga you meet rap. Probably beside that nigga. Every nigga you know when Oh, you don't rap? Oh, you look like a rapper, nigga. You look good. See what I'm saying? So he halfway there. <laughs> no, he fact. just got a starter kit. He got a yeah, He got, he got a rapper starter kit. No, in fact. I'm about to say, you look good, nigga. Well, he got a rapper all the way. He got a rapper who made it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> he don't got a rap. Right. No, I don't care. You feel what I'm saying? But every nigga you meet in Atlanta gonna rap. Mm. So you looking at the niggas who made it. But what about the niggas who didn't make it? Mm. You can't look at me because... I can, I'm gonna get money regardless. But every I ain't gonna lie to you. Everybody look like you. For sure. Everybody at down this motherfucker is getting money. I ain't gonna but lie it's to you. not everybody not really getting money though. You looking at the smoking. Mirrors. You looking at two hundred niggas that's getting money. What about the hundred thousand niggas that's yeah. not getting money? A lot of smaller shit though. So it's a lot of niggas who not getting money, bro. Right now, this time I believe. And there's a lot of niggas still living out pandemic money who ain't getting money. They just still got their kit. They ain't sold it yet. I'm telling you, it's a lot of niggas who ain't getting money. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this then. Being that Atlanta is so small and y'all are so close to the superstars and celebrities and shit like that, was there any artists that you were super close to that you looked, that you kind of blinked and like they was crazy? Every nigga in Atlanta. What you mean? I know every rapper. They went they, I, Did I, that make, did that, did that kind of no. give you some anxiety and make you upset a little bit? Hell no. Nah, that's, man, that's a, man, fuck no, man. That's some bitch nigga shit. That ain't no, that's a human man, trait, nigga. No, it's a human, that's a bitch nigga trait. That ain't if no If a nigga shit. doing good and it make you not feel like bad. That. No, not okay. making you feel bad, but like, damn, man, I should have kept doing this shit. Like, sound like that. Like, make you feel like, oh, nah. shit. Like, we was just on the corner. I should have just kept going. Bro, if, if you knew any rapper you name, I watched any rapper you seen come out of Atlanta, I either knew them personally or I was there to watch them blow up. Mm. It didn't make me feel no type of way, but... Solution. It ain't make you look at yourself differently? Go harder, Rico. Right, that's a feeling. Yeah, I mean, that's a feeling. But I ain't feel like, damn. Hell no. I ain't saying like, damn, fuck that nigga. That's different. That's weird. I yeah. ain't asking No, nah, that's that what nigga be on, though. No, nah, I ain't asking. I, I ain't saying It's a that. lot of niggas that, I'm saying, but 90% of niggas, they're not going to say it, but that's how they really feel. Mm. And that's why they be in the spot they be at. Because they looking at, damn, why this nigga not me? Instead of, damn, I got to tighten up on my shit. And I look at it like, I gotta go run more money up, or I gotta take this shit serious this time. I gotta, we gotta take it serious. My problem ain't been with no, see, my problem ain't never been what I can't do as far as like the like the reaction I'm getting, or I can't be, be the where a nigga at. My problem been, I've been distracted. I'm always distracted. I'm always chasing some money, or I'm always doing time. It's just that. So I don't look at, I'm, I'm a different situation than most niggas. Most niggas, they shit don't work. Anytime I do it, it work. So what's the most frustrating part of this shit for you? It's outside of the internet. What's the most frustrating, not the parts that you hate? It's a little gay shit that be going on. It's like Atlanta, real small, like you said, and it just be like, it's weird. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it's weird, but it's not, I'm from Atlanta, I'm born and raised in this shit, so I ain't really, I ain't really like, I'm used to a lot of shit that's going on, but you gotta understand, this is not the Atlanta I grew up in. It's a lot of out of town and shit. Nah, facts. Like, nobody I meet is from Atlanta. Mm. Even so, even the niggas that's from Atlanta, we like a little tight knit. Like, we might be, at, I might be at a party, and it's three niggas from Atlanta, and we know we from Atlanta. Like, we know. But we in our city, though. But the other hundred niggas at the party, not from Atlanta. Mm. So it's like, you got to get used to a whole nother city. You got to, in, in your own city. Yeah, facts. And it's changing every day. And I don't did time, so it really throw me off. I come home and shit be different here. You feel like the outside niggas taking over Atlanta? 100% they don't took over this motherfucker. That's what I mean. Like, when we might be four niggas and we know we got to stick together. Niggas must have lied to me, bro. Because nigga came in here and looked me dead in my eyes and say, yo, a lot of niggas don't um, embrace outsiders. And every time I talk to somebody, they be like, they, that's 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 they embrace true. us. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. It's just we happen to be the city that everybody want to come to. Nah, facts. We can't. Niggas be like, man, you can do that in my city. Yeah, because every city in the motherfucking country ain't decided to move to your city. Facts. I guarantee you them same cities, if every country and every city in the whole fucking country decided we want to move to 
I don't give a fuck. Chicago, LA, all these, New York, it's gonna change the whole environment. Y'all not gonna be able to stop all these niggas from moving here at one time. Yo, it's crazy because Atlanta, I think Atlanta single handedly changed the trajectory of music. It did. You but can I afford see- to live down here for one. It's not It's not a high cost of living. That's nah, the number facts. one thing. No. Oh, it's expensive. It's, it's getting more expensive yeah, as time goes on. Compared to LA, this ain't nothing. Compared to New York, this ain't nothing. Yeah, no, nah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's still, I live in Midtown. That shit is ridiculous. It's going up now. It ain't been like that, though. No, I believe. In the past 10 years, Atlanta, <clears throat> at, at the end of the day, Atlanta, for what Atlanta is, it's still cheap compared to the nah, big, facts. to certain nah, cities. For sure, for sure. But I say it changed the trajectory of music because I remember back in the day, like, and, and they even have conversations about this, how, like, people always looked at New York as, it's like, the mecca, the mecca of, of hip-hop, right? Yeah. And I feel like if we're going to talk about, like, new music, I feel like y'all really opened the door for music to be how it is now because back in the day, it had to be lyrics. Yeah. It kind of it kind of had to be that 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 lyrical music, that, 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 that getting money type shit. Mm. Now, we got all type of music, and I feel like I... Atlanta ain't changed that thing. The internet changed. I think Atlanta had a big, for sure, a but the big inter- thumbprint print on it. The internet changed. It just Atlanta niggas was putting on mm. on the internet, and so, they and they and, and and its own little world. No nah, facts. And this world got big. You know what I'm saying? So I was um, I was doing some investigating myself. I was on your Twitter, right? Yeah. And one thing that popped out to me, well, you said this multiple times. You um referenced to like basically keep going. Yeah, for sure. And I was just thinking about myself, and I'm like, I I do that. But somebody who referenced to keep going is somebody who feel like their time their time gotta come soon because they've been doing it for a certain time. But you said you wasn't been t- you haven't been taking it serious that long. Well, when I say keep going, I ain't just talking about rap. Mm. You gotta keep going. Like I don't know what you don't been through in your life, but like the only way to get through it is keep going. I don't give a fuck what you don't been through. I don't give a fuck if you had cancer. The minute you stop is when it's over with. Mm, that's a fact. So you gotta keep going. Like that's what I meant by that. Keep going, nigga. I don't give a fuck what happened. Keep going. I don't been in spots where I feel like I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. Only thing that got me through it is keeping going. That's a you fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was on um, Instagram, right? I wanted to ask you about this shit. You said you had five, you did five years. I never heard this shit ever in my life. But niggas selling drugs on uh, in, in jail. Niggas do that. I don't know nothing about that. Bro, you out of jail, bro. I don't know nothing. I mean, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You can tell me your fucking experience, nigga. Like, yeah, well, you said I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I forgot. I don't, I don't know. know. I forgot. <laughs> when they happened, niggas do a wedding time. Man, I ain't never been in jail, man. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. So wait, so yeah. niggas are selling drugs in jail, right? So uh, what's you the nigga? Pay for that. You gotta pay for that. Yeah, right? you gotta, you gotta pay we gotta make you a patron. Yeah, you gotta pay for that. We got some shit going on. You, you can't get the prison game for free. I pay for it. Come on, bro. You been talking about it. Like me and Jay got some shit. Like me and Jay got. We got hmm. no. We got some shit. We got some shit. Wait, you can't. That's crazy. No, okay. I'm, I'm gonna steal your shit. No, nigga. no, no. We know. Yeah, you're yeah, not. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna steal your shit for nigga. No, we know you're not. But nigga we're NDA. gonna drag you in. Bro, don't give me you no. First, hand that nigga NDA right there. I only listen. Uh, uh, I, I got confidence in my damn self, nigga. Nah, for sure. Nah. Fuck for what sure. y'all got going on. My nah. shit will be good nah, too. Nah, for sure. For <laughs> sure. But, but nah, go ahead with your crap. But nah, so I was gonna ask like, so I'm looking at. All right, but I'm looking at the uh, the, <laughs> the the Fredo Bang shit on Vlad, and he okay. was talking about how like you know niggas sell drugs, but they hide the shit in their ass. Yeah, that go on. They hide niggas be uh, robbing niggas for their drugs, but basically manhandling, <laughs> <laughs> taking the drugs. That's out some freaky shit. I don't. I, this, funny, I don't know yeah. about all that. That's now crazy. niggas is niggas yeah. packing. Is niggas suitcase in here? Yeah, like that's what they said. But niggas get robbed for that shit. And they go they up in that shit. They, they go up in that nigga suitcase. Ass. Bro, they going to tell a nigga to pop. They <laughs> nah, nah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. No, nah, hold on. Uh, Let me see. He was talking about crazy shit in the Gucci bag, right? That's what you guys call it? Yeah. Gucci bag. Okay, so, so, <laughs> <laughs> they said Gucci bag. Yeah, they got it in a Louis bag. So you say how it was relatively normal if, like, a word gets around that someone got some drugs in their ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, they definitely gonna get that tobacco. So they going? So it depends on where you locked up at, for real. See, he was in the he went to prison or he went to he was in the county. I think I think he did county time, right? I don't know. See, prison and county time is different. <laughs> like it's different. It all depends on where you locked up at. It may be that hard to get shit that a nigga got shit in his ass that they gonna go get it because ain't no more ain't no other way to get it. Mm. So I ain't gonna say a nigga ain't gonna go on a nigga ass to get it. I'm not going to no nigga ad to get it, but would I send a nigga to get it? Oh, nigga, I don't give a fuck how you get it. Go get it. Go get that. <laughs> but, I mean, it just depends on where you locked up at. Because there's a lot of, it, everything be different, bro. It depend on, it's all, it's all on the demand. You feel what I'm saying? It's all on how hard it is to get the shit in there. Damn. Yeah. So wait, what's the craziest that you've seen in there? You got to pay for that. Don't you? Oh, y'all want to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga came drunk, forgetful, and everything. <laughs> nah, <laughs> really. I, I, ain't gonna lie before, though, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, like prison, like, I ain't trying to get on that topic. You was just talking about it. Lightly, like, slightly. like. Oh, I'm gonna ask the questions, nigga. I don't see some crazy shit in prison, man. I don't see some niggas come out. Some niggas you think cold blooded, tough ass niggas. I show her nigga a whole fruitcake on all type of shit. I don't see any niggas. Get chopped off. I don't see all type of shit. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't see. Not now. I'm saying like body part. I don't see a nigga whole ear get cut off in prison. I'm about to say that's wild. Nigga chop nigga. Dick off. Nah, hell no. Nah. That's you nah, said nigga chicken cut off. Shit, like body part. Like I don't see like it's crazy in prison. Crazy. Wait, how you even chop? You gotta saw that mother. Nah, I seen nigga kind of ear get cut off. I seen nigga ear get chopped off. Not the whole ear, the but like. Fleshy. I'm about to say what type of machinery you got to chop a nigga? Niggas got I, shit I, like this, man. The nigga whole snack got shit like this. Man, let me go got some shit taller than you, man. What's the best? What's the best game to be a part of when you locked up? I ain't no, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not in no game. So what's the best group to be a part of? Man, I don't know. I'm not in no group. <gasps> you ain't had to be in a group, but you know what, who was moving ain't like. Ain't no best. It's what you a part of, nigga, and how you handle yourself. It ain't no best. This ain't so no more. This what's the best, nigga? This ain't no more, <laughs> nigga. This ain't. You, go, you going to that dolo, roll, nigga? This ain't honor roll, nigga. You going to that dolo? What? You got to belong to somebody. Nigga says you got... Niggas be... Everywhere I go, I make my own group. That's just what it is. I'm going to be all the way clear. What's the name of your group? I got a label. I got a record label, man. Thousand Eight Records. So you just let niggas... I was signing artists now. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying... You don't even rap in prison. You ain't even write in prison. I damn sure didn't. I ain't... Because I couldn't, though. But niggas write. And niggas come to me all day. Rico, you want to hear this? No. So how you signing niggas? <laughs> <laughs> based off a nigga, based off a nigga's style. If I'm smelling your style, I might sign you. Like, wait, I don't want to hear you rap. Wait, cause, cause ugly niggas can rap their ass off. Wait, wait. So how you judging a nigga in jail when y'all got the same shit on? It ain't about that. It. It's how you carry yourself. Oh, all right, all right, all right. be acting like a mother. Denzel Washington, that's, mother. That's the thing about jail. That's why I'm trying to tell you, nigga, can't trick me on the street because I seen the best actors. You, they acting all day. Mm. All day. It's a whole, it's a mind game of actors all day. So is it like you what we think? Like I first when I think of jail, I think you get locked up. You guys be like, first nigga try me, I'm just gonna knock him out. I'm gonna just punch him. If I lose, I lose. I just gotta go crazy like that. Is it just? Is it? Is it really like that? It's kind of like that. It ain't like that, but it's kind of like that. Though. Like that's the first I be seeing, like if I go to that, I was like, it's I'm a like, little bit more trickier than that because you are gonna get more comfortable than that or unless a nigga try you off the muscle. It different. Like I can't really explain it. It depend on what jail you at. Yeah, I don't did time in some light spots where it's soft, and I don't did. I don't been on the self floor in Rice Street. I don't been in prison, chain gang. I don't been in some spots where, man, nigga, Mr. Roger could have made it there. Mm. Soft as hell. Ain't nobody gonna do shit just jail. But I don't been in some spots where, boy, you can't even. As soon as you walk in the door, they say, hey, who you is, y'all? What, 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 what you banging or who you, where you from? Like, and you got you got to know something. Somebody got to vouch for you, or they gonna eat your fate immediately. Immediately, the worst way I'm talking about. So it just depends on where you at. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that shit sound. That shit sound tragic, bro. bro I was watching. I was watching the the Drewski shit, and he was like, "This niggas be in jail like this." I don't know if you seen the skit. Hey, y'all seen the J? He 100 percent right too. I was laughing like 
the heat. That shit dead on the head. They feel like niggas, niggas love it. Like niggas get out of jail, go right back. Like fuck it, this is why this is nah, my home. Because at this point. in jail, you don't got it. You don't have to live up to no standards on the street. You don't have to compete with. Mm. You don't have to compete with like like you don't got no responsibilities for one. Laundry come to you. You know what I'm saying? Your food. You don't got to pay for food. Mm. Pay for stove. But if you ain't going to stove, a lot of niggas who can't pay for stove, they just robbing niggas. You could just act the ass in that moment. So it's a lot of niggas that basically it sound like a lot of homeless niggas that just don't have nowhere to live and say, fuck it, let me just go to jail. No, I ain't all that. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of, it's a jungle. It's full of lions, snakes, bears, tigers, every animal, everything you can imagine. All right. Well, basically, to sum this up, Fredo Bang was right. Niggas be hiding in that suitcase and they niggas be running in there. I don't know about no nigga running no nigga ass. I just know niggas do hide shit in their ass. Yep. I ain't seen no nigga running no nigga ass, bro. I'm not gonna say a lot of you until you hear y'all saying, no, I didn't see that. Do niggas pack shit in their ass? For sure. Like, man. How you nigga, know if man, you ain't see it then, nigga? Because it's on, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't seen shit in prison. That's what I'm saying. I don't seen, I know what go on. Like, like, you can know what's going on. You ain't gotta be a part of it. But how niggas be getting their hair done in prison? Hair done or a cut? Both. I mean, you got barbers in prison. You got, well, how, clippers. Yeah, how, how, you got people, clippers. Wait, people be really do, doing the uh the razor with the, the... Razor and the comb. Hell yeah. I don't see some nigga. The best haircut oh. I got in my life was with a razor and comb. My mom, my mom, I still remember that nigga. Shout out to a five. But in prison, though, you got clippers. Like, the, they might let you, like... They got a barber shop in prison. I be scared as shit to get my hair. So you a nigga, that's nigga crazy. Just... You don't know nothing. So you really like I'm not talking to you. About, you don't yeah, know don't nothing know about prayer. Yeah, I'm trying to get, get, get you to break world. it down for me. It's a whole different nigga, world. Get some Patreon. They can tell me the it's game. A, it's a whole different world. All right, but I ain't trying to go into that because like because you got it on Patreon. I got it coming. That, but that's part of the pad, bro. Like that shit, like was my life. Like that shit ain't like no joke. Like that's really your life for them years. Mm. Okay, I'm explaining. I spent five years in prison total, right? How many years you spent in high school? Probably four. Four. How big part of your life is high school? You can't ask me. That's not that much. It's not big. Not that big. I seen your tweet. You retweeted some shit. Like niggas be living like their high school years. Like nigga, you not lit no more. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I get what you're saying. No, but like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't, no. No, what I'm saying is, I, every it was nigga, cool. I get what you're saying. Them cool. four years, nigga, you feel like was ten years, right? Yeah. I spent more time in prison than so can you imagine? And I and you leave high school and go home. Mm. You spend a night in prison. So can you imagine how deep them five years were to me? Oh, or a nigga man. who do any ten years or six years or whatever. Can you imagine how then you live and sleep there? You you wake up there. Mm. So you gotta think like that be your life. So when you turn your back on that shit, you really like, boy, that shit is a part of my path. Bro. So why niggas keep going back then? Why like, what's the what I mean, it's multiple reasons. Some niggas don't give a fuck. Some niggas can't handle a lot here. Also, the way this shit's set up, they trapping niggas. Some niggas on probation make one mistake. I'll take one mistake. I went back off a mistake. Yeah, I went that's off, crazy. I, met, I went back off of one simple little thing, and they sent me back to prison. What was that? Some, some drug and giants, some, some gun and drug charges. And they violated my probation, sent me back to prison. Before I got convicted, though. I wasn't even convicted yet. Mm. No, that, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that probation shit is a setup, bro. Mm. And then, like, even with the plea deals and shit like that, that shit is a setup, bro. Man, I didn't, man, listen, bro, that's... Like, that that's shit, like, crazy. that shit is not even... They put you on parole. That's the one thing I do know about, like, nigga could put you on, pro, like, probation, even, like, probation for, like, all of that shit. Like, it's like, as soon as you get in a slight bit of trouble, you going to jail. Nigga, I'm on parole and probation. I'm on both at the same time. How long you got? Enough. I'm gonna be out soon though, cause I walk a clean. I live a different life. Mm. I walk a clean slate, so I'll be eligible to get off early. But I got enough though, enough. I got enough to where you can have you about three, four kids in the, but before I get off probation. Damn, man, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Y'all keep talking about this Patreon shit. Y'all might as well just plug it for all that. I mean, go ahead. What's going on, man? Plug it. Go ahead, man. Y'all might just plug it, man. What y'all got I coming got, up? I had, to, I had to talk to the bit dog first, and then she had to talk to the bit dog. Jay got some shit. With, she is working out here. Man, Jay the nah, whole... Nah, I really, like, real nigga shit. I just be chilling. I sell cigarettes in the bathroom at Magic City. Man, <laughs> girl, crazy, man. <laughs> this nigga. Jay the whole journalist, man. I had, like, peppermints and all kind of shit. Everything you need.
But you saw the pet That's how I want you to look at Jay from now. Jay the journalist. Jay is not like he's a journalist. Now I heard about Jay. I know her story too a little bit. I don't know her, but I heard about her story too. Nigga, I do my research. You know what I'm saying? Pretty decent at this. I'm Jay manager and Jay my manager. So yeah. before you talk to Jay, you gotta really come holler at me first. Hey, I'm gonna just keep doing my thing and y'all gonna eventually come talk to me. <laughs> I came to that's how I go. I came to talk to you. I came and fuck with you. No, I fuck with you. Oh god. I, I fuck with you. Hey, I don't take nothing personal. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm just keep doing my thing and eventually they gonna spin a block. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna, I, fuck, I, I had a door I, I open. I fuck with your shit though. I okay. check your shit out. I fuck oh, with it though, man. That way. Nah, I appreciate I'm it, brother. Be here, man. Yeah. Yo, let niggas know how to follow you. Do all that. You know all the uh. Uh, Rico Cash one zero zero eight on Instagram. Rico Cash one zero zero eight on Twitter. Uh, Rico Cash on YouTube. Then you change your YouTube. Wasn't it like Eve Rice? What was it? Hell nah, that's the wrong nigga. Was it, it wasn't something else at first? You changed it. No, that wasn't me. Oh, I was okay. I might have cash. There was something else before. Oh, so it was YRC right. Rebel. Was it YRC Rebel? That was my old YouTube like a minute ago. It was Rico Cash, oh, though. Something, man. You feel me? Like, now I'm making it man, up. That nigga said something about black rights. No, it was E. It was like that. E something. I thought it was like, I read that somewhere or some shit like that. Nah, it, it was. I know something clearly. Rico Cash, man. On everything. Type hey, it in on Google. Hey. It's, it's, it's cool. Nigga yeah, said. Jay, Jay getting me. Type it. Nigga said, I don't know. I ain't never changed it, man. <laughs> No, I appreciate it, dog, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Any uh, anywhere I can su- support, I mean it, man. I ain't just outside of the camera shit, like on some real nigga shit. Nah, that's all love, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate it, it, dog. Um, Jay, thank you for bringing the people. Anybody else you got, just let me know. Rico Cash, Jay Hill, Jay Hill Podcast. Make sure y'all subscribe to the audio. YouTube is fine. Keep running the numbers up, but get on the audio. Apple Podcasts. Yes, that's really important for podcasts. Yes, Spotify, all of that. Keep yes. rocking with me. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to do a better job at um, responding back to comments and stuff. I appreciate you. Rico Cash, J. Hill. It's a wrap. We out.